what's up you guys i know this vlog is like super unexpected it's like weirdly lit and like that's because it's nighttime it's like 8 30 almost and i kind of like wanted to randomly talk about this speaker that i just got done like seeing um basically there were these two ladies there from my sister's college actually uh uw milwaukee and they were talking about how people are discriminated against by their weight when they go to like workout facilities and stuff and like how to make the workout facilities more like inclusive and like you know less judgy for like bigger people to go to them um and i went into this speaker like i knew about it probably like month like a month ago and I went into it super skeptical because I was like yeah like they're just gonna tell us like you know basically fat shame us into going and like you know it's not gonna help any uh <laughs> you know because I've heard it all before and I came out pleasantly surprised I actually like went up to the speakers and like thanked them for making a presentation uh, there was people from the, like, gym, like, the campus, like, rec center or whatever there, which I thought was super cool because it's, like, they took a genuine, like, interest in the topic. And actually, one of them, like, I don't know if he, like, ran the rec center or, like, was, like, a manager there or something, uh, but he actually was, like, around when I was, like, waiting to thank the, like, the ladies. Like, he was talking to them first about, like, more information, you know, that, like, so that he can use that. Um, and so I waited <laughs> to talk to them. That was how, like, like, enthused I was about, like, actually saying something to them. Uh, but then he was still, like, in the, like lecture hall or wherever we had the speaker and I was like I just want to thank you so much like people don't ever talk about the topic like the way that they did and like um you know it's a really like you know under talked about thing because I know plenty of people myself included that don't go to the gym because they fear the judgment of being a bigger person and, you know, not being able to keep up with workout classes, not, you know, fitting into the ideal of who should be at the gym, um, you know, like even simple things like they were talking about checking to see if like certain machines have weight limits. Even there was like, because I guess their gym at UWM has like these turnstiles that people have to go through in even like even to just get into the gym. And if you don't, like, fit through the turnstiles, you have to go around the building to, like, this separate, ex like, entrance. She was like, even something as simple as, like, not being able to get in the door is something that, like, you know, is a barrier to people trying to, you know, get in there and work on the machines. And I'm like, <sighs> like, it's so, we don't have those at our rec center, but, like, there's so many, like, barriers or, like, things... Maybe they're even just, like, psychological that, like, people that, you know, are beginning <laughs> working out and, like, like, go through. Myself included. I will be the first to admit that one of the reasons, besides the fact that I love ice cream, one of the reasons I don't go to the gym and work out, like, is because I don't want to have people watching me and looking at me and judging me, you know? Um... They talked about how, like, fat shaming people and, like, you know, is not helpful, which is really great because I feel like that's such a stereotype that people have, like, oh, if you just, like, work out and, like, have some willpower and don't eat an entire pint of ice cream and, you know, blah, 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 like, you know, you will lose weight and stuff and, you know, it's things like that that pe really get to people. Like, I know I, like... People in my past and even people in my present currently, like, you know, tell me, you know, oh, you shouldn't eat that or, oh, like, you don't look 
you know, a certain way or you need to lose a ton of weight and blah, blah, blah. And like, well, that may be true. Like, well, I probably do have to like, you know, maybe think, make better choices about what I eat and like, you know, work out more or, you know, things like that. Hearing it from other people just makes me not want to do it more, you know? Um, I don't know. It's just the way that they approached it was just great like and I really hope that the Oshkosh rec center like takes note of this and like maybe more rec centers in the future um and maybe even like you know actual gyms that aren't just college students you know like because older people go through this too you know like like middle-aged people going to the gym they feel the same way you know um perhaps to even a greater extent because if they're if you're somebody that can keep you know, your weight off and like a toned body, like that's a lot of work. And, you know, by middle age, it's like, I feel like your body has kind of just been like, this is how it's going to be. You know, it's a lot more work to lose weight and stuff in later ages, you know, so I feel like it's more useful like then, you know, to like at actual gyms that anybody can join, like to talk about these things. Um, I'm sorry if I'm like super rambly. I just have so many thoughts going through my head that I'm like, I don't know how to articulate them. Um, so yeah, main point, I saw a speaker today and I don't know, I just really, it really moved me and I just, I don't know, I love it. Side note, that kind of goes with this. Um, we read this, we're reading this book in my internship. It's called Yes Means Yes, Visions of Female Sexual Power in a World Without Rape. Which, you know, sounds like it doesn't really connect to this topic. Um, but there is a section in here um, which I was like all about. It's called How Do You Fuck a Fat Woman by Kate Harding. It's an article. It's so good. It talks about um, how like, again, like, how people think that, like, fat people having sex is, like, not a thing that happens, you know, like, willingly, and it is, and it's great, so, I don't know, I don't know, I had to, I ranted about that earlier today, too, in my internship, because I had to write, like, a reflection about it, and I was just like, yes, this article is great, so, definitely check out Kate Harding, I know she has a book, a couple books out actually that I want to really get from Amazon or something. I'm rambling, but I'm gonna go take this face off because it's looking real oily. But uh, yeah, the guy, like I said, the guy, I don't even think I finished that story. The guy from the rec center was there when I was talking to the speakers, and as I walked out, he was like, he was like, I hope, like, we hope to see you at the rec too, or something like. Like, you, you're, you can come to the rec too, or something like that. Which at first I was like, you know, if, if before this speaker, if he would have just come up to me and said that, I'd been like, rude. Like, you know, <laughs> like, no. But I think the fact that he, like, heard me talking about how much I appreciated it and, like, you know, how, like, how the subject was really important to me. <laughs> like, hopefully that was what he meant. If he meant, like... Oh, yeah, you know, you should maybe go to the gym. Like, I'd be real upset. But, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little rambly vlog of mine. Um, let me know if you are a similar, you know, mindset too about the gym in the comments. I know that I have a lot of viewers that came from my Torrid haul. So I'm assuming there's plenty of plus size people in my audience. Which is great because, you know, more to love. Um, but yeah, let me know. I feel like that's a common issue among like men and women of size and I really relate. So yeah, let me know about your kind of thoughts and experiences in the comments down below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a great night and sweet dreams because it's like nine o'clock almost and I'm going to go eat some ice cream because, you know, I love, I love me some ice cream. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. 